How do the Renans not know about this secret route of yours? Cislodens an old city. It's littered with pathways that people have long forgotten. But keep your voice down. We don't know how long this route will stay hidden. Sense one of your friends, Hoodle? So this is Sisladen, capital city of Sislodia. Be careful. You never know where Snake Eyes or their informants are lurking. We are basically walking into a Zoogle's den here. There are shops here. <sighs> on a permit basis. As long as people don't get reported on and sent to work the floodlights, economic activity is allowed here. All this talk about reports and permits. <sighs> this place really is different from Calaglia. <sighs> hmm? You're saying we should check the Owl Forest? Good to see you. Who's this? They're with me. If you say so. Come on, Menex waiting. We can talk in there. The name's Menek, leader of the Silver Swords. And I wish I could extend my warmest welcome to you all, but... 
If my eyes don't deceive me, you appear to have a Renan in your midst. If she is your prisoner, that's a rather loose leash you have her on. She's not a prisoner. So why do I get the feeling there's a rat about the house? No offense intended. See, I've grown comfortable with the likely outcome I'll be stabbed in the back. But stabbed in the front? We risked our lives just to get here, sir. If you want to send her away, fine. But you'll lose me, too. I see. Trust is in about as short supply as light around these parts, and mine more than anyone's. But... I'll choose to believe you. Forgive my manners. You must be tired after such an arduous journey. But to business. We need your strength. The Snake Eye's grip on the city tightens by the day. Our people are suffocating out there. Hence the scouts I sent to find help. We're at the end of our tether here. That's why we're here. To help. We've got the firepower to do it, too. But first, we've got some urgent business to take care of. I see. So your leader is in need of rescuing. It's none of your concern. We get that. But... It's coming to our aid that got you into this mess in the first place. You can count on us. Just as long as you help us with our problem afterwards. If he's been arrested by the Snake Eyes, as you say, then there's a good chance he's being interrogated over at their headquarters. Either that, or he's being put to work over at the Floodlights. First priority is finding out where he is. If you're planning on tagging along, Rinwell will show you the way. Just make sure to keep a low profile. Remember, it's not just the Snake Eyes. Hostiles lurk among the villagers, too. This leader of yours, he must be quite the inspiration for you to go to such lengths for him. I look forward to meeting him someday. See what the fuss is. Have you and Menek known each other for long, Rinwell? No, not really. I haven't been with the Silver Swords for all that long, truth be told. He's a smart guy, but he's also deeply suspicious of other people. I can understand, since that's how you get to survive around here. Really? I could tell he was wary of us at first. But he seemed to warm up to us pretty quickly once we talked to him. Yeah, that's pretty unusual for him. I think that's a sign of how desperate things have become. In my case, it took a long time for him to start trusting me. But then again, I kind of get where he's coming from. You never know who might betray the group, or when the Snake Eyes might be watching. What made you join up with the Silver Swords in the first place? This wasn't your hometown, so... Was it the Snake Eyes who... No. It wasn't them. I just... Actually, we shouldn't stand around talking. People will start to suspect us. Let's keep moving.
This should definitely keep you guys full. So that's where those beams of light have been coming from. Right. Any Danans accused of dissent against the Slodia's lord are rounded up and brought here, then put to work. It's a fierce deterrent. And you think Zephyr might be in there with them? I want to see what the lights are all pointing towards. Take us there. see where the floodlights converge from all the way over here. I want to take a closer look. There's something I need to confirm. What could possibly be worth the risk of us all getting spotted? You'll find out when we get there. Be careful. If anyone's even a little suspicious of us, they'll report us immediately. Right. It's not just Snake Eyes we need to watch out for, but other Danans too. Still, there are a fair amount of people out on the streets. Isn't it safer to stay at home? That's the thing. If you stay cooped up too long, people start to suspect you're hiding something. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. So people feel like they have no choice but to turn others in so they don't get in trouble. What a miserable way to live. At the very least, we should probably go someplace where there aren't so many- Ah, Shion! We already stick out here like a sore thumb as it is. So I think it's better if we just walk confidently out in the open. Don't look anxious. Just walk firmly and look like you have a destination in mind. What, is sticking to the plan too much of a hassle for her? This is why Renans are the worst. I don't know if it's a Renan thing or not, but she does have a point. Anyway, we're not gonna get anywhere just standing around. Let's follow after her. Everybody walking around looks so depressed. Can you blame them? They live under the cover of darkness day and night. That's bound to wear you down. Not to mention all the snake eyes roaming around. Laughing, talking too loud, or just about anything that makes you stand out can get you killed.
We've reached our destination. Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? Always good to be back in familiar territory.
A spirit vessel. I thought as much. So they're pumping it full of light. No, not light. Astral energy. Of course. No wonder this realm's so dark. It's as though there's a pall over the sky even during the day. Except it isn't dark. Not really. The light's just being diverted. Diverted? Suck up all the light, and all that's left over is darkness. What's the difference? Darkness exists as an actual element of astral energy, just like light does. Didn't you know that? Mm. Let me break it down for you. Astral energy exists as different elements. There's earth, water, fire, and wind, as well as light and darkness. But, dark astral energy only exists on Rena, and light astral energy on Dana. So, dark energy isn't harvested as part of the crown contest. She's right. It's the same reason why I can't wield dark energy, and similarly, why no Renans can use light energy either. The only exception to that rule on the Renan end is likely the Lord here, who has the Light Master Core. Whatever the case, it looks like they're collecting light here the same way they were fire back in Calaglia. From what I hear, there used to be a proper day and night cycle in Cislodia ages ago. But apparently, over the last 300 years, the darkness spread from Cisloden and covered the whole realm. That's crazy. I can't believe the Renans found a way to steal even our own damn light. We shouldn't linger. Let's keep moving before someone spots us. Wandering around blindly is getting us nowhere. The Snake Eyes have the information we need, but we can't just ask for it. So what if we sneak in and take it instead? I wasn't aware you knew how to be sneaky. Uh, hey, look over there! That's Zephyr's son. Law. I don't know. Something doesn't feel right about all this. Are you kidding? He's practically gift-wrapped for us. Hey, what are you... I remember you. What do you want? We don't mean you any harm. We just want to talk quietly. Deal? <sighs> Make it quick. Where are you keeping Zephyr? Uh, <sighs> We're here to rescue him. <sighs> why? What do you mean, why? Isn't he your father? Oh, yeah. Easy to forget that. After he abandoned me. Abandoned? It's the truth. All my old man ever cared about was sticking it to the bright eyes. He never even made it to Mom's funeral. So you become an agent for the local lord? You got a problem with that? You're not exactly one to talk, keeping company with a Renan woman. You think you know her. But wait until she has a choice between you and her people. I may have become an agent for the Renans, but at least I'm here trying to soothe the agony of my people from the inside. What's your excuse? I don't buy it. No. You're running because you're scared. You think you're the only one who's had to suffer? What the hell do you know, you- What the- Damn you! Word to the wise, people like you Enough. make me- Look, I don't know what happened between you and your father. But what I do know is that when you fought back at the village, he wouldn't raise a hand to strike you. Uh I've never seen Zephyr back down from a fight. But he could never hurt his own son. 
And when he said he was staying behind... I think it was because he wasn't willing to abandon you. If you know anything, then tell us. Please! I... I don't know where they're keeping my dad now. All I've heard is that they're going to publicly execute him. In the plaza in front of headquarters. Execute? Thank you. You did the right thing. Why are you so determined to help my father? Zephyr is the reason I took up the sword. He taught me how to think for myself. And I want to learn more. If they're going to execute him in the plaza, then it'll be too dangerous for us to go alone. Let's ask Menik. He should be able to sneak us in. Sounds good to me. Let's have a chat with him.